Hi, this is Liza from Digging Cap Homestead, and you can probably tell that I'm getting ready to make an oxymel, but this oxymel is going to be extra special because these vinegars are vinegars that I made from my mead making adventures. This is one of my oldest vinegars, a strawberry, excuse me, a strawberry lemon mead. It's about six months old. Yeah, and you can see the mother there in the bottom. I am choosing this vinegar to be the base of my oxymel because upon tasting it yesterday, I learned that it was the mildest of all of my vinegars. It almost has the acidity of a kombucha, which is not as acidy as uh, a vinegar. So I was surprised by that. I probably capped this one a little early, um, but I really like the flavor. Then the second vinegar I have here is made from my favorite mead. This is vinegar made from elderberry mead using uh, wildflower honey. It is really acidy. This shall be, I guess, the flavor carrying vinegar. And I'm going to use my favorite honey, my raw wildflower honey. And this baby is local. And so because it's raw, we're getting the probiotics from the honey. honey uh, raw honey has some yeast in it. And because we're not tampering with our raw unpasteurized vinegar. You'll get the lovely acetobacter in the vinegar. So this oxymel is going to be a very probiotic drink. And because it's made out of two products that are shelf stable, you can keep this stored in a shelf. How do you use it? Well, this was a very ancient drink. The Romans loved it. I don't recommend putting it in tea, as in putting drops of it in hot water because then you'll kill the probiotics in the drink but serve it cold on ice or with some seltzer water to make a really beautiful mocktail because it's shelf stable because it's probiotic it makes a great christmas gift okay so let's make this thing and uh, give it a taste so i'm gonna use this beautiful recycled bottle that i've delabeled and uh, start filling it with delicious liquids. You don't have to worry about the ratios of vinegar versus honey or honey versus vinegar. It's all about your taste. If you're not big on acidy drinks, you're going to put in more honey. If you're, not, if you're not big on things being too sweet, then you're going to add more vinegar. Again, I'm using this strawberry lemon mead vinegar as a base because it's not too acidy. So here we go. Let's get this golden liquid in there. That's such a beautiful color. It's going to become more beautiful when I add the elderberry mead vinegar. Here we go. Let's give it a little bit of a red wine flavor with this gas. Oh, that turned it a beautiful rosy color. That is a beautiful color. I'm making this for myself, but if I were making a gift, whomever rec be receiving this would be very pleased. Now I'm going to add my raw wildflower honey. There we go. All right, so before I cap this, I need to place some wax paper over the opening of the bottle because vinegar corrodes metal tops. We can agitate the bottle now to integrate the vinegar with the honey. Okay, so take a look at this beautiful drink again. It's probiotic, it's shelf stable, so it makes a great Christmas gift. I'm gonna try mine now and I'll let you know what it tastes like. A little oxymel on the rocks. Let's see what it tastes like. Here we go. That's very, very sweet, but also tangy. And um, I'm glad I decided to check on this vinegar recently because had I not used this guy as the base, 
Um, I think it would have been too acidy and overpowering for most people. That's good. All right, so we got a beautiful drink here, packed with probiotics. So if you make your own vinegar and have access to local raw honey, this could make a beautiful, unique Christmas gift. Now, if you don't make your own vinegar, you can still make this beautiful drink. How? Well, go to the supermarket, get yourself some unpasteurized apple cider vinegar, and source some raw honey, either from your supermarket or online, and do as I did. All right. I hope you're having a beautiful, beautiful holiday season, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.